effective displacement flow meter measures option A differential flow rate option B open channel flow rate option C volumetric flow rate or option D mass flow rate and the answer is option C volumetric flow rate displacement flow meter works on the principle of option A Coriolis principle option B Faraday's law option C positive displacement or option D Baranoli's equation and the answer is option D Baranoli's equation electromagnetic flow meter works on the principle of option A Faraday's law option B Lenz's law option C Ohm's law option D Doppler effect and the answer is Faraday's law Ultrasonic flow meter works on the principle of option A Faraday's law option B Lenz's law option C Ohm's law or option D Doppler effect and the answer is Doppler effect Coriolis mass flow meter works on the principle of option A positive displacement option B principle of motion mechanics option C volumetric flow rate or option D Doppler effect and the answer is option B principle of motion mechanics The major disadvantage of positive displacement flow meter is option A poor accuracy option B upstream and downstream requirements option C moving parts or option D not suitable for viscous fluids and the answer is option C moving parts in DP flow meter differential pressure can be developed using option a orifice plate option b flow nozzle option c venturi tubes or option d all of these and the answer is option d all of these stream and downstream straight length run required for orifice plate flow meter option a 28d of upstream and 7d of downstream option b 7d of upstream and 28d of downstream option c 1d of upstream and 2d of downstream or option d none of these and the answer is d 28d of upstream and 7d of downstream differential pressure transmitter can be used to measure option a pressure only option b flow only option c pressure and flow both or d none of these and the answer is option c pressure of flow both electromagnetic flow meter can measure flow rate of option a conductive fluids only option b non conductive fluids only option c both a and b or option d steam flow only and the answer is option a conductive fluids only the output produced by turbine flow meter option a 4 to 20 milliampere current option b 0 to 5 volts dc option c pulses or option d all of these and the answer is option c pulses output of a typical pressure transmitter is option a 0 to 100 ohms option b 0 to 24 volts option c 4 to 20 milliampere current or option d 0 to 20 milliampere current and the answer is option c 4 to 20 milliampere current